Thank you very much, uh, Zimbabweans, for giving this opportunity for me to clarify a number of issues. As we've always said, that this remains the Chinu Chebi from the People's Commissar, Honorable Temba Mliswa. And we will never allow a situation where we let this go, like we did for 37 years. We allowed Mugabe to go it alone. Yet, Changa Chiri Chinu Chebi. I'm not going to chat him, but now, Chiba Betsela Kushkata Shika. But to find the chief speaker and so forth, but to rebuild that you can do, we'll be with them. I think people are curious. I think we've all vented, including myself, of the cabinet, which was announced recently, yesterday, if to be precise. Yes, uh, I looked at it. I was equally, you know, not sure what he was trying to play it. But there are a few sectors which are critical in the cabinet or in the economy of the country. One. Mines is critical because we produce and we generate income. Agriculture, we produce, we generate income. Foreign affairs, international relationships, which are critical in terms of us uh, engaging the international community, for we had already not been talking to them for a very long time. We need to re-engage them. The other sector is commerce and industry, which is also critical. Let me talk first of all, start with commerce and industry. Mike Bima is the right person. SI64 worked, despite him being related to the First Lady, does not take away his patriotism, his nationalistic approach, and his competency in delivering and conducting his duties accordingly. We don't argue about that, and it's right that he is be there. We cannot have a situation where we have a new minister who's going to come up with even a, an SI200. <laughs> we don't even know what it means. That's irrelevant. Let's deal with the minister who started the program. He must finish it and so forth. Let's go to the Minister of Mines, who is now uh, Chitando, Honorable Chitando. Former Mimosa CEO, Chamber of Mines chairperson, knows what he's doing, is an expert in the field and so forth. Right move in the right direction. I think mining will certainly be what it is and will derive the value that we've not been deriving for a very long time. Because with all due respect, Chidakwa was not a miner, did not understand mining and so forth. And he was equally close to the president and it was for their own personal gain rather than for the thing nation and so forth. Let's go to agriculture, A. Marshall Perens Shiri, a man that I know who started farming for a very long time, one of the first men to have acquired a farm post-independence and so forth. His first farm was in Marondera, he moved to Bindura, and he's now in Bundura, and when you go to his farm, he's been able to, to, to then walk the talk in terms of agriculture, responsible for command agriculture. When uh, His Excellency President Mnangagwa was the chairman for the command agriculture scheme, it was operations uh, commander Shiri, who was responsible for ensuring this happens. He's been involved in the logistics of the country, bringing food when we had no uh, maize in the country and so forth. A man, a humble man who shows meekness with the power that he has in the military. And you must understand one thing, an educated man too. If I'm not mistaken, he's got two or three master's degrees. When these men are not at war, they are studying. <laughs> they have all the capacity to deal with any situation at any given time. Their intervention in terms of us having law and order in this country was critical because of the instability of the ruling party. And now there's order. Foreign affairs is pretty critical in terms of uh, Major General uh, Subusiso uh, Moyo. You could see even his eloquence in terms of even explaining to us on TV, on the national media, on what progress they were taking. We accepted that a, two, a true d d d d diplomat per excellency, somebody who I believe will be able to ensure that we re-engage with the Western world. People are safer with the military which is organized, which equally you know, puts people first and so forth. We go to Honorable Patrick Chinamasa. Whether you like it or not, he was fired because he was cutting down on costs. The, extra, the extravagance expenditure by the First Lady was too much, and he decided not to. He's the first man to say we must, we must retrench the 2,000 
youth workers. But unfortunately, that was again overturned at a rally, at a ZANPF rally by the first lady and the first family in saying that they'll be rehired. IMF, he was on track. He's been dealing with IMF. He has a good relationship with IMF. So let us have him finish his tenure of office and so forth for us to achieve what we need to achieve. These are the key sectors of the economy at the end of the day. Dokora, whether you like him or not, in terms of the new curriculum, it has been embraced by most schools despite lack of resources and so forth. His job is not about resource mobilization. His job is to ensure that the Nzirama Sangha report is implemented as a committee and one of the committee members of the Parliamentary Committee on Sports, Education and Culture. He is the first minister who's implemented the Nzirama Sangha report. We cannot have commission of inquiries making recommendations and that not being followed through and so forth. So now that the dust has settled, these are the key uh, areas that drive the economy, that produce and so forth. And I have no doubt these are equally new players. But it's now the CEO who has the last say, who's going to drive this ship forward. On the, His Excellency, uh, President Mnangagwa, is somebody who I know is competent to deliver an action man. You can see that even the attitude and that approach to doing business in government has changed. It is important that we support this initiative. If we supported Mugabe for 37 years and he failed, why can't we support this man? Are we not being, being premature and being unrealistic in wanting results in just two weeks and so forth? Let's give them his time. Let's also give him an opportunity to deliver in what he believes. Listen, he's, he's under pressure more than all of us because within eight months, he has to deliver something which will ensure that come 2018, he is the man to go with. I equally would have loved to have been the Minister of Sport because I'm a qualified person in that area. But it's not about Temba Minister, it's about the country. I'm happy for Honorable Kazembe Kazembe. I will be able to talk to him about what I think of sport. I have certainly played a big part in developing sport in this country. And whatever I have, I will impart to him so that this country grows. It's one thing for us. Ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I thank you very much for constantly listening to me and following me, Chinu Chedu, the People's Commissar, Honorable Temba Liswa. I thank you.